Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries, John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Well, it looks like Putin and the Russia has invaded Ukraine. I suspect this is a, uh, a diversion to divert everybody's minds off of what's going on. You know, the all the shutdowns and the lockdowns and the protests and this and that and the other, you know. Uh, you know, like we should worry about Ukraine's border, but not our own, <laughs> right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's like Carlin said, it's a big club and you ain't in it. And there's only one side. You know, they might look like there's more than one side, but there really isn't. There's only one side. So it's like two lawyers in a small town and they're on the golf course playing golf and, you know, political things coming up and they're like, okay, uh, what side do you want to take? I'll take the other side, you know, and then they laugh at how stupid everybody is and slap each other on the back. You know, I mean, you got to have, you know, if, if people are paying $300 an hour uh, to fight each other, uh, who who's the winner? Yeah, the lawyers. And what is it, 90-something percent of all the politicians are lawyers, right? And, uh, yeah. You get the idea. Um, when Bill, you know, uh, the guy that's married to uh, Hillary, yeah, when he was uh, being looked at for uh, doing something in the White House with uh, what's her name, what did he do? Oh, that's right. He uh, he bombed the Serbs. The Serbians, yeah. You know what? The Serbians were uh, Orthodox Christians fighting against the uh, Muslims that had invaded their land years, you know, many years ago. I think it was about 400 years, like four, four or 500 years ago. Yeah. He, did, uh, he didn't bomb the Muslims. No, he bombed the Christians. You know, it makes you wonder. You know, got to get attention off of something so let's bomb you know and the serbians were just trying to protect themselves but that's not allowed in the uh, n and then you got a w and then give me an o what does that spell yeah what does that spell yeah so you got to realize uh putin He's been to the uh, the wall, take a guess where, and he has a personal rab by. Yeah, he's got his own personal one, believe it or not. His name is Lazar, L-A-Z-A-R, not Lazar, but Lazar, L-A-Z-A-R. You can, yeah, a lot of pictures of him with him. Uh, they travel together, if uh, Putin leaves the country, he goes with him. He's his spiritual leader. And then look at who Biden's cabinet picks are. Look who his kids are married to. Matter of fact, uh, look who Trump's kids are, kid is married to. And who Trump's uh, cabinet picks were. You know, it's it's <laughs> it's a big club and you ain't in it. And I got pictures of uh, Trump with uh, what was her name? Um, Maxwell. Her real name was Hotch. Uh, matter of fact, um, yeah, she's in Eastern European. You know what? You know, did you know that their ancestral home is Ukraine and Poland? Yeah, that's their ancestral home. Believe it or not. Um, if you're interested, send me an email and I'll 
send you an article from the uh, I think I forget what Jewish Encyclopedia or whatever. Really interesting article. It's funny they they say it's not true, but then it's got an entire article in the encyclopedia affirming what they say is not true. So, yeah. So you got uh, Trump was with uh, Maxwell. Trump pictures with Epstein. Trump with Bill and Hillary laughing it up. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, you, you get the idea. And of course they say, oh, well, you know, he's a great guy. Uh, yeah, well, he's part of the club. You know, he, he's got a, a star on Hollywood Boulevard. He was an actor playing a part. And he's played his part. Now it's time to retire. Uh, if things keep going, and I kind of, I kind of suspect they will keep going for a while, but they need a diversion to get people's minds off of uh, the border stuff, the uh, mandates, you know, they, they want to, they definitely want to get our minds off things because all they got to do is wait, wait for the um, medical treatments to kick in their intended purpose. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, yeah, well, two to five years, I think the medical treatment's intended purpose is going to kick in. And, uh, yeah. So the, all they got to do is wait. That's all they have to do is wait. They're in no rush. I mean, you know, uh, the Federal Reserve Act, I think it was 1913, that was the, begin the beginning of the, the major downfall of this country. I mean, all the gold coins were removed. You know, we had gold coins. Believe it or not, $20 gold coins. They're all gone. And we, and we had silver coins. They're all gone. Now all we got is paper. And people think, oh, yeah, inflation. It's the price of goods going up. No, no, no. It's the value of the money going down. You know, every time you double the money supply in the in the market, the the money's worth well, the current paper currency. It's not really money. Uh, the value goes down by half, which means to for a price of an item that was a dollar, and now it has to be two dollars to maintain the same value. I guess you could say. You know what they called dollar stores back in the 60s? They called them five and dimes. Yeah, we had stores that sold items for a nickel or a dime. I remember that. I I think Woolworths, I'm not sure. I think Woolworths was one of them. Seriously, I remember getting a, a Burger King Whopper, a shake and a fry for 65 cents and handing them a dollar and getting back a dollar I mean, a quarter and a dime. I, I remember that. Because grandma gave me a dollar. And dollar was like, wow, this is 20 candy bars. You know, big candy bars. You know, Milky Way, Snickers, Hershey's, you know, those kind of things. Um, yeah. So I'm kind of suspecting this uh, Ukraine thing is just a take our mind off of things. That's kind of what I'm guessing. And then I think they're going to kick back and uh, just wait for things to kick in for the next uh, medical crisis, whether it be what they'll call Marburg, which is a, like Ebola. No telling what they have in store. So all I know is Keep your eyes on Jesus. Um, oh, and by the way, the okay Federal Reserve Act, 1913. They started printing money, papers, paper money. You can't counterfeit gold and silver easily. A lot harder. And you just can't print gold and silver. But uh, in World, they had World War One. 
another useless conflict. And the deal was, after World War I, they said, you know, we need a world government to keep another war from happening. So they had a thing called the League of Nations. And I don't remember exactly what year it was found, uh, created, but it was in the 1920s. But the United States still had a sizable population of Christians. And they said, you know what? I know what the Bible says about um, a world government. And it's not good. And we don't want to be a part of it. We don't want to be cursed. So the United States didn't join. Well, and then World War II happens. And then they, you know, they say, well, you know, if the United States would have been part of the League of Nations, well, you know, we wouldn't have had World War II. And uh, now we got the U United Nations. And let me tell you a little story. Uh, General Douglas MacArthur, the, uh, I think he was the supreme commander of the armies in the Pacific during World War II. Was he perfect? No. But he, he made... You know, he was pretty brilliant commander, really, in a lot of ways. Um, and he was a West Point guy, you know. And uh, after World War II, we had the United Nations. Well, then we had the Korean War. And Chinese troops actually, uh, when, when the United States and was almost ready to kick back North Korea after they invaded South Korea. Chinese troops invaded uh, across the river, North Korea, and almost completely destroyed the United Nations forces, which was, you know, America, I guess, did the uh, most, I don't know. But the thing was, because it was a United Nations action, MacArthur had to submit his battle plans to the UN in advance. Now, who do you think was on the UN Security Council? The Soviet Union, Communist Russia. So here it is, he's submitting his battle plans, telling Russia, oh, by the way, we're going to uh, attack your friend China that you're helping supply tomorrow at, you know, whatever time here in this area and MacArthur was like appalled that this was happening I mean the the, the casualties were atrocious you had Russians in the jets flying over Korea killing American airmen you had Chinese communist soldiers on the ground killing American soldiers I mean, you know, pfft. MacArthur wanted to nuke China. Seriously, I wish he would have, you know. But, uh, you know, Truman, old Harry Solomon Truman, uh, he said, no, we can't do that because we don't want to escalate the war. You know, we'll just lose a whole bunch of American, you know, soldiers no big deal and that's what happened you know they should have they should have can you imagine if we'd have done that with uh you know they fire uh in world war ii the united states and england we firebombed dresden and killed hundreds of thousands of civilians no problem to them they firebombed japan they dropped two nukes on japan what was the difference between Japan and China? So, and don't, oh, and don't forget who uh, gave the atomic bomb plans to uh, Soviet Russia. Julius and Ethel Rose Sin Berg. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, they they were persecuted so bad in Russia that they gave them the uh, 
plans for the uh, nuclear weapons. I, I don't think it was the atomic weapons. It was the H-bomb or whatever. But at the time, we had a virtual monopoly on, you know, whatever Russia had, we had 10 times more. So, you know, it, it's all a game. And they want to... They want to trick us into getting a one-world uh, government, which is not going to be good for us. So, and if you are interested, the headquarters for the one-world government essentially is going to be, um, well, if you're talking about mystery, Babylon the Great, it's going it's not going to be rome or the vatican no no it's where jesus was crucified where the two witnesses will be killed but uh you can't get you can't get pastors to tell the truth about that because well <laughs> who the bank owns the uh, mortgage to the uh the building where they hold their services and pass that collection plate around yeah, and you know what the Bible says about um, the borrower ser uh, servant, some versions say slave, the borrower servant to the lender. Yeah, I mean, that, that tells you there, that tells you the whole thing right there. Yep, and uh, personally, I, you know, uh, should learn about... Uh, well, we're not taught any real history anymore. We really aren't. So hit the community page. There's a uh, link to a guy that sells a lot of the old books. You should buy some of these books. You know, the Internet's not going to be around forever. And a lot of these old books are going to be very, very valuable one day, including the Bibles. I would definitely put some Bibles away. Uh, but, you know, what do I know? So, I don't know. I think this whole Ukraine thing is going to be a diversion. But uh, time will tell. And by the way, the uh, Department of Homeland Security, uh, yeah, another one of Biden's uh, picks, said that... Uh, Oh, we better watch out for uh, cyber attacks shutting down our electric and our water and uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? They want everything on computers and driverless cars and this and that and the other. But our supposedly our infrastructure is so vulnerable to computer hacking. I don't know. Can you believe anything they tell you? All I know is I grew up, uh, I was a young kid when Vietnam was going on. Young kid. But let me tell you something. What I heard on the news and then what I heard from veterans coming home, including a family member, I, I knew the government, the media lied about everything. I mean, everything. My older brother, who was in Vietnam, he told me that they would lock up all the guns when it got dark. And I mean, this kind of stuff, I mean, I, I, this is like uh, in the early, early 70s or, you know, early 70s, like 70, 71, 72. Um, he told me they'd lock up the guns at night because, well, he did, they didn't, you know, the, the captain or who, a lieutenant or whoever was in charge didn't want the guys getting drunk and shooting up the base. So they'd lock up the guns. Well, when do you think the Viet Cong attacked? They didn't attack during the day. No, they attacked at night. So they're attacking. You got, you know, maybe a couple of guards with guns, but the rest of the base is disarmed. So you got to find the 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 you got to find the an officer, have him authorized 
you know, hey, can we, uh, the Viet Cong are shooting at us. Can, can we get our guns, please? Uh, uh, yes, soldier, I guess that's not a bad idea. I authorize it. And then you got to find the, uh, the sergeant that's in charge of the, uh, the armory where they keep all the guns. And he's, you know, got to get the key and unlock everything. And then you got to pass out the guns to everybody. And then by the time that happens, well, the Viet Cong are gone. And I couldn't believe this crap. I mean, my my father, a World War II combat vet, said uh, says that would never have flown during World War II. Absolutely never. He says no. And uh, and then they couldn't understand why the um, why they would uh, kill their commanding officers. You know, I mean, seriously. Yeah, they, they, they used to call them fragging, you know, like for fragmentation grenade. Uh, grenade was a, like an explosive device, like a dynamite, only it had pieces of metal that would go flying in every direction. And uh, you got hit by one of those pieces of metal, it's like getting shot with a bullet. Uh, so they'd kill the, you know, hey, the captain wants to get us killed. Let's get rid of him and get another one. You know, that didn't happen in World War II. Did not happen. But it happened in Vietnam. I mean, can you, you know, the guys would have probably, in World War II, they would probably would have killed their commanders if they would have tried to disarm them at night. You know, it's just, and that's, that's when the Japanese attack, too, was at night a lot of times. So, you know, it, it's just, it's insane. But, uh, yeah, if we do have a war against uh, uh, Russia, I just hope our uh, trans uh, soldiers can uh, march in their high heels, you know? Yeah. Yeah, those are the ones we ought to send. <laughs> uh, and I'm telling you, Russia is no, nobody to play with. Do you know, um, during the Afghanistan, Russia's in Afghanistan invasion, uh, you could watch, uh, what was it, Rocky Part 2, or was it Rocky, or First Blood Part 2, I think it is, when uh, he goes to Afghanistan and the Mujahideen, the Afghanis, are fighting the Russians. Um, you know, the Russians didn't have trucks to move the army to Afghanistan until General Motors and the United States uh, built a large automated truck manufacturing plant. And they built trucks. Of course, you know, the, the official story was, oh, well, these trucks, we're going we're gonna to use them for agriculture. Yeah. Yeah, well, they used them to invade Afghanistan. And, uh, yeah, they were there for a bunch of years. Matter of fact, they just recently, you know, wasn't that long ago that they left. And then we go in there. Oh, boy. Isn't that fun? Yeah. The never-ending wars. So, uh, so keep your eyes on Jesus. You know, this world is uh, the God of this world. You know? But they're all, it's all one big club. It's heads they win and tails we lose. Absolutely, always. They're all actors playing a part. And uh, the higher-ups know it. So enjoy the uh, pictures in the slideshow. And uh, one day Christ is... Uh, well, once they... they once they... Uh, do whatever they need to try to push us into a one world government with teeth. Uh, look out because that they're going to hand that to their Messiah, which we're going to call the Antichrist, the beast, the man of sin, the son of perdition, and the false prophet who's going to have miracles to do, to deceive people. Once that happens, look out. It's going to be open warfare on the true remnant. But don't worry, all the TV preachers will uh, proclaim that even Christ has come. I have faith in them. 
I have faith that they're a bunch of devils. So, but uh, yeah, this is not much of a Bible lesson. I know. I don't usually like to get involved with political stuff because, you know, Trump had me fooled for a while. Didn't take long for me to figure out he was just an actor paying a part. But, uh, and oh, if things uh, keep going, look at, keep your eyes on Elon Musk. I have a feeling they're grooming him for a political run. And I've already looked in his background. He'll be another Trump. Trust me. Trust me. He's another one. His family owned a diamond mine. No, I'm sorry, not diamond. Emerald mine in Africa. I think South Africa. Uh, I'm not sure. Africa. And if you've got precious stones, you got to go to Amsterdam, which is the World Diamond Exchange, they call it. And if you don't know who's involved with that, just take a look at the word jewelry. Look at the first three letters. Yeah. Yeah, jewelry. And uh, he was able to take his money out of South Africa and invest it here. I mean, he's like, you know, you're talking hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, let me tell you something. Everybody that I've ever talked to from South Africa said that they're not allowed to take money out of South Africa. It's communist. The ANC, the African National Congress, is communist. I mean, come on. I mean, Nelson Mandela. I got a picture of him in front of a communist flag. I mean, you know. And, and look at all those, um, uh, the Somalian pirates, the AKs and the RPGs. Where are they getting these weapons? They don't manufacture those in Africa. Those are communist bloc weapons. So, you know. Yeah. I mean, come on, people. You know, it's pretty... Yeah. So, they're all involved. And uh, But yeah, once they get a world government set up, probably have an economic crisis or war or whatever, and they'll use that as an excuse to bring it in. Great reset. And then it... It's going to be uh, open season on believers, the remnant. So keep your eyes on Jesus. And uh, like I say, if if you haven't gotten um, my downloads, downloads for, you know, free, um, you can get the downloads. And if you want everything, send me an SD card or a USB drive and I'll send you uh, all the newer stuff, too. I've got a lot of health and medical inf uh, info, too, that I that aren't on the, uh, the downloads. The downloads are basically my audio uh, Bible studies from the last, I don't know, seven, eight, nine years. So, all righty. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Amen.